Mr Sansom and I'm the director for the video, mm. which we're currently making for Father Son for the track I Like Not Knowing. When they first came to me um, to make the video, the, the brief was quite loose, they didn't really have any specific preference on you know, what they wanted from it, they just wanted something that was going to complement the song, which is nice as a director, that's always nice to have that space creatively. Um, sometimes if you have a brief that's too specific it can be a bit kind of curtailing on the creative process. And I've known the guys uh, personally for a long time and I like the band uh, and I really like the song as well which I think always makes the creative process easier. If you, if you listen to the track and you like it, it makes the creative process of writing your treatment for it far easier. As soon as I listened to the track I kind of had an idea of, of certainly visual elements that I thought would complement it um, and that I thought would work nicely with it. And then the, the treatment kind of grew from there. The two contributors that we used in it were Chris Millington and uh, a female model called Kirsten Gribben, both of whom um, I'd been interested in doing projects with beforehand. So it was a nice opportunity to be able to cast them. And I was asking them to do certainly quite physically um, strenuous and, and arduous um, kind of roles within the, within the video and both of them delivered amazingly um, within this and there's, there's a lot of people that would have really struggled with some of the stuff we asked them to do. Day one um, we were filming with, with Kirsten, we did the, the bath scene um, and then we were, we were going on with Chris to go and do a lot of the kind of running scene, we were up towards the Highlands, up to Glencoe, Glen Etif. and so it, it was a long day and um, it was kind of first thing in the morning until you know we lost the light um, and a lot of locations, a lot of travel involved, which always makes the day much harder. And uh, it was it was a tough it was a tough day of shooting, um, which uh, you know the, the weather had a strong factor on it. But actually, you know it's it's also visually part of what I think worked really well within the video is when you see some of the shots of of, of Chris towards the end uh, when we're up in in Glen Etif and you know there's rain falling down and you know he's soaked. And it's this kind of dark grey just as the light's leaving it kind of sets this atmosphere which I was looking for in the video and as much as it was it was really hard to shoot it it also totally made it. The jump location we initially were going to use was going to be in a river and uh, because of the, the heavy rainfall and the heavy melt from, from the mountains in the area we were working in the, the level of the river was extremely high so the initial location that we were, we were going to use for the jump scene was just far too dangerous for us to be able to, to use so um, it's, it's that frustrating thing where you have the location, the perfect location that you've had in your head and then you get there and physically it's not possible to do. So we had to, we had to move that to second day of shooting to a, to a second location, a backup location that we'd, we'd uh, had in mind and actually in, in many ways as much as the initial location was, was the one that I had in my head and I, I thought was ideal for it once we went to this other location, I actually think in lots of ways it ended up being far stronger um, and, and far more dramatic. And uh, uh, what I liked was the volume of the water, this huge space of water juxtaposing this idea of this, this tiny um, you know, bath which, which we were seeing Kirsten in. So in, in the long run, I think it ended up working to our benefit. Uh, so, we're at Loch Lomond, uh, is like five like to nine. Like we were meant to film this it's yesterday but the current was a bit too like much <laughs> and I don't know I like drowning so here he comes. That's me. See, that's me. That's a, that's actually me. I'm gonna go jump into that lock now. Ugh. With the performance, the, the key thing for me in the performative element was that we delivered the same amount of impact and power through the performative element as we did within the, the narrative element of the video. So there was, there was big drama through the narrative element of the video and I needed that to be reflected through the performance. 
so I'd, I'd had this idea of, of, of kind of um, this kind of wall, this, this strong silhouetted backlit wall of light um, and, and the idea of kind of throwing in super slow motion in that to, to really add kind of impact and punch to it. reasons, for conceptual reasons, I enjoy it and, and the actual physical act of doing it. It was, it was a scene where, where Christian really delivered well and was kind of strong underwater. And in the final video, just some really beautiful moments and some beautiful shapes that she found. And, and uh, again, the crew as well delivered really well and it's, 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 a, it's a tough situation to take both a cast and a crew into that, you know, completely out of a lot of people's comfort zones. Having to keep everything in your mind in terms of framing and, and technical stuff while being underwater, trying to make sure you're, you're keeping down, you know, weighted to the bottom and you're, you're holding your breath and all these things in your head make the, the camera team's job just far harder than, than if you're, you're shooting normally. The results that you end up getting from it make all of that worthwhile, I think. When you listen to a song live, when you go and see a band perform live, um, there's always that element that's missing when you then listen to a track that's recorded and it's it's that atmosphere and that, that emotion that you get from a, a live gig and I, and I often like to think of a music video as trying to put that back into the, the track, that emotion, this extra element which is both emphasising and, and taking a song you know, to, to another level which you wouldn't get just through listening to the track on its own and when you get a song that you're excited about and, and has as much power as I think this track has, um, it, that journey becomes really exciting. Mm -hmm.